If you didn't grow up in the 2000s, I am so sorry that you didn't get to experience DisneyChannel.com at that time and all of the games that were on it. It was so much fun. I would spend hours at a time on that website. Now, I feel like when people talk about DisneyChannel.com games, they always bring up the classics, like Pizza Party Pickup or all those Hannah Montana design games. And don't get me wrong, those are fun and I love them. But today, I wanna shine a light on the weird Disney Channel games that you may have forgotten about. Because I feel like some of these games that I consistently played aren't really talked about. And looking back, it might be because of how silly they are. Not only that, but visually, these games have aged quite a bit, which I feel like kind of adds to the hilarity of some of them. I'm definitely excited to revisit these though, so let's get into it. First up, we're going to check out a Sunny with a Chance game called So Sketchy. In this game, it's nearly time for the cast of So Random to go on stage, but they don't have any of their props ready yet. You have to go around the prop room and knock the props all the way down to the bottom floor before time runs out. Now, a lot of Disney Channel games did this, but they put the characters' faces on these tiny little cartoon bodies, and now that I'm older, I'm realizing how scary it looks. I also have to wonder if these are pictures taken specifically for the games, or if they're promotional art that they already had for the shows. Because it would be kind of funny if they were like, okay, Demi, smile. This is for the hit game on DisneyChannel.com, so sketchy. So in this game, you have to pick one of the characters to play as, and then the rest will run all over the map, and if you bump into them, it's game over. Which is really weird, because aren't they also trying to get the props ready for the show? Why do I lose if I run into them? Like, why are they hindering me? They want the show to go on too, so they shouldn't be trying to stop me. I just don't understand why the rest of the cast refuses to get any props, and instead runs all over the place trying to make me lose. It's pretty rude, but whatever, let's play the game. Okay, I, I mean, I think we gotta go, Sunny. All right, here we go. You've got Thank you, Demi. Thank you. Where are all my castmates that I need to avoid? They kind of disappeared. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> you are I'm here. Not Tawny! Oh god. Ah! Ah! What? What the? Someone must have just been right there. Yeah, so apparently one of the characters was just off screen and I ran into them, which is hardly fair. I mean, I couldn't even see them. There, I did it. That's not a scary shot of her going down the slide at all. Oh, that's so funny. You know, this was like the most fun game ever to me as a kid. Ah! I forget your name, are you Grady? I can't help but notice that you guys aren't really helpful. You're all just kind of running around for no reason. And if I run into you- You are star material. Thank you, Demi. <laughs> if I run into you, it's game over. Like, wh why? Why are you guys trying to stop me when we all have the same goal? I just, I don't understand. Oh god, what are they gonna do down there? There's so many of them! Ah! Ah! Boom! Did it! That's hilarious! It's so random! Why don't we move on to some games from THE Disney Channel show, Hannah Montana. Side note, I was recommended this clip from like, Hannah Montana online, and I was looking at the comments, and there were people that were like, what show is this? Can someone tell me? Are we really reaching the point where people don't know what Hannah Montana is because what? Anyway, the first game we're going to play is Jackson's Beach Treat Delivery. In this game, you play as Jackson working at the surf shop and you deliver milkshakes and ice cream to the other characters. And that's it. <laughs> this game probably only lasts like five minutes, but it feels like you're doing it for way longer than that. I guess it's just simulating how the real workday feels. <laughs> Am I right, guys? I loved this game as a kid though. I played it all the time. So the main cast is spread out across the beach and I must say, they look great. One of the characters will order a milkshake. A fudge sundae, please. And then you have to take it to them without hitting too many obstacles along the way, or you'll spill it. So, did they make Jason Earls like pose for this picture? A vanilla sundae would be great. Sure thing, Oliver. Whoa. Oh! Sorry, pass him right up. I'll have a strawberry milkshake. You got it, Billy Ray! Whoa! I gotta stop Whoa. running it. I gotta stop running it to surfboards! My question is did they have Billy Ray record that line himself? as well as the rest of the cast for this game? Or do wow. they just have like a- <laughs> Wow! <laughs> or do they have like impersonators do it? Like did they really make Jackson's actor go, wow! Okay, but for real, I need to know this. Did they put Billy Ray in a recording booth and make him ask for a fudge sundae? A fudge sundae, please. A vanilla sundae would be great. You already had one, Oliver. Like, how quick did you down that? A fudge sundae, please. Okay. How many milkshakes are you people going to eat in one day? Like, Miley, I just gave you your last one. Excuse me, Billy. A vanilla sundae would be great. Oliver, this is your third one. Third! You people are downing them like they're shots or something. A fudge sundae, please. Yeah, Billy. You've got it, Billy Ray. 
Anything for you, Dad? Whoa. Oh, that didn't happen. I would definitely go for a caramel sundae right now. Okay, this is your, this is your third or your fourth milkshake, Miley. I can't help but notice this game is kind of long. I thought it would have ended by now. Uh, I'm stuck on Billy. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sunday would be great. Lily, Lily, you just, I just finished serving you. Girl. I would definitely go for a caramel Sunday right now. How many have you had, Miley Stewart? How many? Yeah. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Woohoo. I got 69. <laughs> 69.05. Hell yeah. We're going to stick with Hannah Montana for a bit and check out a game that I could never beat as a kid because it was just too hard. That game is Wireless Quest. The premise of this game is basically that Jackson stole Miley's diary and hid it somewhere in the school. You have to search the whole building for clues about where he hid it. The reason it's called Wireless Quest is sometimes Jackson will send you hints or your friends will text you to let you know if they've learned anything. Like I said, this game was way too hard for little child Morgan. I would spend so much time wandering these halls and find nothing. Never, not once, did I find Miley's diary. So today I'm going to see if after all these years I can finally beat Wireless Quest. Oh, uh, hello? Okay, a trophy. I got a picture of a trophy. There's a trophy right here. Banner in A16. Okay, Miley looks kind of terrifying when walking to the side. Oh my god. I just realized that the time remaining is 28 minutes. 28 minutes. Ah, yes. I forgot to mention the 30 minute timer. Miley has to find the diary before class starts in 30 minutes or else everyone will learn her secrets. Which, first of all, how does that even work? As soon as class starts, the diary is just going to appear in front of everyone and they're going to read it? Or is it in just such an obvious place that there's no way that the other students won't find it? But if that's the case, why is it so hard for me to find? Also, 30 minutes is kind of long for a Disney Channel game, isn't it? Anyway, back to the game. I'm already stuck, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, GPS, I didn't even realize I was there. What, I don't understand this game. Oh, oh, wait. I teleported. My God, this is so complicated for a Disney Channel game. I'm like overwhelmed. There's so much to discover here. I still need to find classroom A16. I've yet to do that. There's nothing in like all of these classrooms. Oh, hello, Oliver. Someone got one of your trophies. What? Oliver, that was very cryptic and not helpful. Wait, the note said A10, didn't it? That's the class it'd be in? There's no A10 on the map. Yes. Yes, I did just mix up the classroom numbers. It's A16, not A10. Am I just remembering wrong? Is it really not A10? What is this, a jail? That's a creepy cryptic room. Oh, oh my god! This scared the hell out of me! All of okay, so when you're texting about a trophy... Oh my god, that scared me! Hi, Miley! Hi, I found something? All the trophies are totally messed up. Thank you, keep searching. What the, what? Banner and, oh, it's A16, not A10. Oh, he's gone now. That's partly my fault that I remembered it being A10 instead of A16. Okay, the banner in A16, right here. Nothing here. Are you sure, Miley? Are you sure? Miley? This is the banner in A16 though. What? Miley. This is A16. I have never been so confused in my life. Is the banner in A16 just a clue? I don't know, but all the banners look the same. Look at this. Banner in A16. That's what it says. Guys, that's what it says. Guys, I've truly never felt so dumb in my life. The fact that I can't, still to this day, I can't beat this stupid wireless quest game. Well, it doesn't help that that trophy says banner in A16. And then I look at the banner in A16. And there's nothing, you know, oh, Miley, don't make that face. It's, <laughs> they did you really dirty, Miley. I think I give up, uh, truly. Yeah, so I still can't beat Wireless Quest. I am 24 years old. I should be able to beat a stupid Hannah Montana game. All right, I'm done with Hannah Montana. So let's move on to some games from my favorite Disney Channel show, Wizards of Waverly Place. The first game we'll be playing is Magic Curse Reverse. Now I could explain the plot of this one to you, but it has this amazing intro with text boxes and sprites. So why don't we just play through it together? The school dance is tomorrow night and the head of the decorating committee still hasn't done any decorating. Hey, I've been busy. Do you know how much time it takes to find shoes to go with this shirt? Alex recruits her brothers Max and Justin for an all-night decorating session. 
Or we could use the instant decorating spell on page 62 and be home in time for ice cream nachos. Very bad idea, Max. Very excellent idea, Max. Oh, that's a little close there, Selena. Dripulous Merflipulous. Oh, looking good. Okay, that's nightmare fuel. So the spell book flies away and they have to swim after it so they can turn everything back while dodging obstacles and monster shorts. Now, I'm not sure if it was because this game is so old or if it was the website I was playing it off of, but this game did not run very well. It was very glitchy. Okay, let's go. Hiya, turn into shorts. Woo, this game runs very... Not great. <laughs> it is so blurry. Ah! Oh, the background's actually making me kind of dizzy. Now, I do get a little motion sick these days, but usually not with video games. This one, however, it was getting a little hard for me to look at the screen. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, I'm too fast! Too fast! This game's making me kind of sick, to be honest. It's going too fast! Ah! Help! Oh, thank god I slowed down. I'm just gonna spam the wand. You can't get me like this. Take this. Owie! Owie! No, I want to see what happens if I win as Justin. Like, do I win the game? Or does it keep going? I did it! Thanks for help, and a little wave really plays magic. Spellbook is back in action, and... The school is back to normal. Now get to work with the decorating for tomorrow's dance. Okay! I, I win. Next up is Monster Mayhem. Now I only played this game a few times as a kid, but I remember it being really cool. Now, are my memories correct? <laughs> Maybe not. The story behind this one is that Alex is drawing designs for a monster costume ball. Then, Max tries out an old spell for fun, which brings Alex's monster drawings to life. Now there are a bunch of zombies in the city, and Justin has to defeat them. Now this game refused to go full screen for me, so it may not look as great as the rest. Just a warning. God, he controls like crap. Oh my god. I can't even describe like how weird he controls. Like when I turn, he turns at an angle. Like he's- I'm not going straight back. Ow. Ow! Wait, I forget what my goal is here. What am I supposed to be doing? Am I just killing zombies? Is that it? God, it's so hard to just go straight. T Stop going at an angle! Just turn normally! Okay, yeah, I am just killing monsters. There's one at the top. Alright, where is it? There it is! Ah! Gotcha! Got them all! Yeah. Once you beat the zombies, the exact same thing happens, but with different monsters. It's a never-ending loop. I feel kind of bad for Justin in this one. He's stuck stopping all these monsters while Alex and Max are just chilling. How about some Cory in the house? Yeah! Let's play Bobblehead Run! In this game, Sophie stole and hid all of Cory's bobbleheads right before he was going to show them to the president, and now he has to get them back. Now, I haven't watched Cory in the house in so incredibly long, but did he like bobbleheads or something? <laughs> I don't remember. Why was he trying to show them to the president? Did he want to like sell them or something? In this game, you pretty much just collect bobbleheads without breaking statues or tripping over this dog or you'll lose points. You can also chase down Sophie to get more bobbleheads. All right, I'm gonna get you right off the bat, Sophie. Come here. Ah! Yeah, eat it. Hi, hey, hey, come here. Ah, gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha, take that. I'm so much better at this game now that I'm an adult. Ha <laughs> ha, come back here. Oh. You suck. You know, Cory is supposed to be upset about what's happening with his bobbleheads, but like, I don't know, he looks pretty happy to me. He's smiling, having a good time. Oh, dog. Excuse me. Ah! Uh, hey! Ah, that stupid little girl. Hey! 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 Uh, dog never trips you. Yeah! Come here, come here, come here! Oops. Come here! Come here, little girl! Come here, little girl! Gotcha! Aha! This dog teleports everywhere. Stupid dog, stop teleporting. Ooh, bonus. Neat. Token takeover. Washington DC will never be the same. Oops. <laughs> you know, why does Cory have so many bobbleheads? Like, I collected a lot of them. Even if he was going to sell them. Like, come on, you don't need that many right off the bat. That's poor investment. Let's move on to the sweet life. We're going to start with a game that's specific to the sweet life on deck called Longa Conga. The main cast is late for class, and uh-oh, here comes Mr. Mosby. But luckily for them, it's conga day on the deck, so they blend in by making a big conga line. It's just one of those games where you make a big line and you can't break it or run into anything. This one also wouldn't go full screen, so sorry about that. <laughs> you know, as a kid, I always played as Bailey. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick with that. Oh, oops. I, I, I immediately died. 
Try again. Why is it not working? Oh. Okay, it's finally working again. Ugh. Okay, you gotta turn really early. That seems to be the issue. I love that they're like, yeah, this is totally the characters from Sweet Life on Deck. But it's just like the top of their heads. You can't really tell. That Cole Sprouse down there? Have you guys seen how like weird the Sprouse twins kind of are now? Mostly Cole. I'm kind of afraid of them. No, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Conga, yeah, that's right. I want London to show up. They're not held the whole crew. There she is, apparently. That doesn't really look like London, not gonna lie. Yeah! Disco conga! Wait, what the? What is the disco conga? Step on as many colored squares as you can before time runs out. Okay! Yeah! I love disco conga. This game is weird. <laughs> How did we get transported here? Do do do. I love to disco conga. Yeah! Groovy! I'm a conga legend. I'm not even joking. That conga song has been stuck in my head ever since I played this game and it is driving me nuts. I need to think about something other than that song, so let's play Sweet Life Spike Ball. Roll the intro! What do you do when you've got the urge to play some beach volleyball, but you live in a swanky Boston hotel? A uh, problem all of us have. In the middle of winter? If you're Zach and Cody, you visit Arwen's Odds and Ends closet and ask him to help you invent a brand new game. Here's how to play. This is a lot of instructions. What the heck? Yeah, these instructions are pretty confusing. Basically, all of these icons will fly across the screen and you have to hit the ball into them. So if you hit net, your ball will hit the net and you'll get a strike. If you hit spike, guess what? You'll spike the ball and get a point. Let's play. I like how I don't even get to play as any of the characters. I'm just some random person beating them in the game. Anyone else think it's weird that they got Mr. Mosby to participate in this game? This seems like the exact kind of thing he would hate. You know what? It's Zack and Cody, you might as well beat them in their own game. Uh, huh. Oh! Okay, this game is a little harder than I remember. I'm really not even doing anything. Yeah! Oh, I yeah. thought I had- Oh yeah! I love that I'm just hitting things that fly through the air. Super Spike! <laughs> that looks kind of funny. What? I don't even know how I- Was I hitting that? I thought I was hitting the Super Spikes. So you see, what happened here is total BS. The net went right under the super spike, so I hit both at the exact same time. The game didn't know what to do about this, so it made the super spike sound effect, but gave me the net and I lost the round. This is unfair and I demand a review on the play. There's, to there's too much net, Oh, is Mr. Mosby celebrating back there? Excuse you, why aren't you ready for me? I lost again. I do. The super spike is kind of funny, not gonna lie. Look, I'm out of practice, okay? I haven't played this game since I was like a child, so. I used to be a pro back in the day, I'm telling ya. Oops. <laughs> Though I may have been a pro back in the day, I lost miserably this time. Okay, I have to play Pizza Party Pickup. I know it's not technically a weird game, but I can't talk about Disney Channel games without playing it. Though, I don't know. The characters do look kind of off. Also, I was never able to beat the game as a kid, so I had to give it a shot. All right, I always played as Maddie, so that's what we're gonna do. It really is kind of scary though. Like their faces on these tiny little bodies and they're like blurry. Okay, I'm sorry, but Mr. Mosby walking back and forth like this is kind of nightmare fuel. Like, why does he look like that? See, Mosby looks happy when he's like walking forward, but God, he looks so angry and scary like going back and forth. He's like, mm. Such a noisy game. <laughs> this is the one that I was always stuck on. I definitely never made it past here. Okay, I'm not too concerned about collecting everything. I just would like to beat this. I gotta get past Cody. He's not gonna be easy. Go! I've made it to uncharted territory. Oops. I got trigger happy. I ran straight into him. Ah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Literally, how am I supposed to get by her? Just go for it. Ah! Oh, I made it to level 10. Oh my God. Oh dear. Wait, what? Oh, hey, that's it? What the heck? Oh, I win! Anger Pizza Party rocked! I finally have done it! Years later, I've beat Pizza Party Pickup! Also, Zach, Cody, Carrie, Mr. Mosby, why are you smiling at me like that? You guys were my enemies this whole time. You're not invited to my pizza party after what you did. I couldn't finish Wireless Quest, but I did beat Pizza Party Pickup, and that game is superior, so I will take that win. And that is going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. Did you guys ever play any of these games? I tried to pick some of the more silly, obscure ones that I never hear anyone talk about, but I loved as a kid. Well, I don't know. 
Wireless Quest caused me more distress than anything. If there are old games from other websites you want me to check out, definitely let me know. I would love to make a video on them. And of course, you are more than welcome to leave other video suggestions in the comments too. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe to see more of me. Woo! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! A fudge Sunday, please.